Hello, in this video I'll introduce you to some of the terminology surrounding waves. Here we have transverse wave with the thick line through the middle here representing the undisturbed position of the wave. The distance between any point on the wave and this undisturbed position, so that could be here or here, is called the displacement. The maximum distance a wave is from its undisturbed position, that is the distance from the undisturbed position to the peak or the undisturbed position to a trough is called the amplitude. We give displacement the symbol X and amplitude the symbol capital A. If we measure the distance from any point on one wave to the same point on the next wave, so that could be measured from peak to peak here or from trough to trough here or indeed from zero point here to the next zero point. We call this a wavelength and we represent this with the Greek symbol lambda. The SI unit for measuring all three of these is the meter. The length of time taken for one complete oscillation is known as the period. This uses the symbol capital T and the unit is seconds. The number of waves that pass a point per second is called the frequency. This has the letter F and the unit is the Hertz. The relationship between the period and frequency is that the frequency equals 1 divided by the time period. The final term to introduce you to is phase difference. This is the difference between any two points on a wave. Phase difference is measured in degrees where 360 degrees is one complete oscillation. So for example the phase difference between this point here and this point here would be 180 degrees. Similarly the phase difference between this point here and this point here would also be 180 degrees. The phase difference from peak to peak, one wavelength, would be 360 degrees because that is one full oscillation. And the phase difference from here to here, that would be about 90 degrees. 